Hello, I'm Dr. Adriana Potter, and on today's series, we're going to be talking about plantar fasciitis or foot pain um, and how you can help your foot to give a little bit more support so you can prevent that feet from hurting early in the morning and also with your standing activities. Let's go. So the first thing you want to think about it is actually trying to find out how much uh, deviation there is being in your foot. It might be that your foot is actually uh, quite pronated. So if you're looking in here from the back, if your foot is very pronated, which means that the heel and the arch is going to be falling down or it's a little bit and it's tilting into the inside of the body and if your foot is supinating it will be doing the other way around and your chances are you have a higher arch and your foot is actually tilting to the outside um, so most of the time people with plantar fasciitis they can have either one they can have a flat foot or a very very high arch and the flat foot they have very little support in their shoes and the high arch, they might still have very little support in their shoes because the arch is just hanging over the inside of the foot, okay? Um, there are a couple things that you can do to help you to give the ideal uh, support if your shoe does not provide it all the way. The majority of the time, the shoes will not give you enough support and some people will need a little bit more of that cushion on the arch of the foot. In the market, there's a lot of products out there and there's some of the half insoles and we have some of the full insoles and some fillers that you can do in different parts of your feet. Um, this is the Dr. Scholl's brand um, and it just have a little built-in arch and it comes with some attachments that you can put underneath of it and these attachments will give you um, more or less firmness on the middle arch of that foot so that if you have a very high arch that will kind of fill it in that space um, and if you're having very very flat foot you don't want to put a lot of spacing up because chances are it's going to hurt the middle of your foot you want to do just a little bit and sometimes with the flat foot uh, something softer might be ideal this one actually i like it because you can be wearing flats and just putting in the, in the foot and you can adjust a little bit more towards the middle more towards outside towards the front towards the back so that can give you a little bit more feeling and if you're wearing your flats you can actually do that or flip-flops you can still have a little arch support without having to compromise the the shoe it doesn't look pretty because it's black and green um, but um, it's something that is available there my favorite of all is the Vomi uh, um, Memory Foam and it has a very, 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 very gentle uh, arch support into this region in here. Um, I have different memory foams that this one that I have put in the link below is actually has uh, a little bit of the um, soft, gentle arch support that prevents the arch from falling too much. And, and it's by far my favorite one, okay? Uh, I have this pretty much in every single shoe. Um, most of the time I end up buying a half size bigger than my own size because it will take some space inside of your shoe. Uh, but I absolutely adore this uh, memory foam with the arch, with the built-in arch support. It makes uh, the standing activities on my uh, shoes and walking and running so much better okay so that's the, a little bit of the arch support that you want to be doing it because we spend quite a lot of time standing and walking and and you don't want to prevent that from arch from kind of falling down you know kind of flattening up and then irritating that tissue underneath of it okay all right so that's the support that you want to be looking the other thing that you want to be looking is that um you know if you're having a lot of pain in here some people say to do massage, like to step on a tennis ball, on a golf ball. I find them to be too aggressive that way. So if you put a little lotion and just get your fist and slide up and down, and of course this position may not be ideal, so your foot can be down and sliding it and doing a crisscross position. Here I'm just doing for the purpose of the video, kind of working to here and kind of using it. You can even get an ice cube and massage it with the ice cube in this area. So that's one nice way. Uh, but above all, you know, in addition to the stability, the support of the shoe, you also want to make sure to stretch. People think, oh yes, you need to stretch your caps. Well, we need to stretch your caps, 
your foot and your hamstring because anything that happens in the foot it has a chain effect upwards towards your legs and spine so you have to make sure that you're stretching in all positions okay so the number of one that i love it of course uh, not everybody can do it but i uh, personally love it downward facing dog because it really gets to uh, the bottom of the feet quite well and you can work into the short calf muscles the long calf muscles the soleus and gastroc as well getting to the arch of the foot okay so the first stretch we're going to do is going to be in the crouch position so it's a couple ways you can do you can just tuck your toes under and sit and then we'll get a little bit of the um stretching onto the arch of the foot if you are very 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 inflamed that might be very tender so it might not be the first thing that you're going to try to stretch it um you can kind of vary a little bit which one you do it first okay but that's one of them just and you, you can actually move from less intense to moving your foot forward just tucking your toes under in here and you can put it more of your way into there and it just going to the child pose and you can go more into the upright position and putting full weight um, position in here okay so that's getting to the bottom of the feet um, if you want to do one foot at a time it's also possible so you can kind of do it on the crowd at the half kneeling and you're getting that stretching in here okay so that's number one number two is the old-fashioned calf support calf, calf stretch which you want to lunge position right here and then you get a little bit more into lunge position make sure this back foot in here is kind of nice and straight and you're trying to get your knee here straight and you put your heel down most people will be with the heel a little bit up in here they might not be as flexible as my legs shows in this video but you're trying to lower the heel down and this is with doing one leg at a time the second step is actually getting your knee down in here and trying to still push the heel down. The heel will come off a little bit, but now you're gonna feel the stretch on a little bit more deeper portion of your calf, which is now getting to the soleus. So in this lunge position, you can do one leg at a time. And of course, you can also do in a downward facing dog. So same thing in here, keep the heels down if it's available to you. And you can also bend in your knees and get a little bit to the gastrocnemius, okay? And if you go into lunge position, uh, plank position, you try to push one leg at a time that way, and you can get a little bit to the calf, bend the knee, catch the other one. What I like about the downward facing dog is that you also get your hamstrings so that way you're doing two for the one okay um that's my favorite one because you get the calves you can get walk your dog and get your feet you also get you the hamstrings okay and if you do this stretch every day chances are that it's going to get better better flexibility on those calf muscles and you're going to find that it's a much uh, less painful when you wake up early in the morning okay of course, night splints are also available for you to wear so you can prevent that plantar flexion that in a relaxed position then your foot engages when you are laying down at nighttime and, and that can help you to get a little bit more flexibility. Um, do not get so much of contracture happening in your calf during the day so when, at night. So when you try to step on it, it kind of overstretches the muscle, put a lot of tension on the arch of the foot. So the night splints are available most of the people that i know find it very cumbersome to wear it i have a link of a couple of them that is less cumbersome for you to wear it when you really 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 aggravate it but if you wear good arch support shoes and you stretch it frequently and you massage it you should not have that much pain on your foot and of course if you continue to have a lot of pain um, it might be that you need a custom orthotic and and they can be quite expensive and not all insurance will cover for it. And going to a, a proper person to fit you the right way and not overcorrect with your uh, custom orthotics is very important, but it's also difficult to find somebody who does not overcorrect. And, and I have, I don't know how many times I have people who spend quite a lot of money getting new arch supports 
and they overcorrect it and after two or three months they just have so much pain is developing they stop wearing it and they pretty much wasted their money okay uh, but for the most part if you get good arch support shoes or additional supports with your inserts right and you stretch it frequently you should not have it much problem and of course do balance exercise so you know that balance will help you to strengthen your muscles in there and give you more stability uh, if you're looking for additional information on, on how to select the proper shoes uh, check in the, in the videos uh, on this channel they have some more additional information how you select a good pair of shoes for your feet okay i'm dr adriana potter and on today's video we cover information on plantar fasciitis how to correct that with uh, shoes and stretches and self-massage have a great day don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button so you can get more information and notifications for the future videos bye bye